Welcome to this lesson on how to create your first program for your VEX IQ robot using VEX code IQ blocks. And don't forget the difference between engineering and just messing around is documenting what you're doing. So be sure to write things down. This lesson is intended to be used with the VEX IQ standard drive base which can be assembled by completing steps 1 through 19 from the Clawbot IQ build directions which came with your kit. Please note, a link will be provided in the description of this YouTube video for the presentation used for its script. Live website links can be accessed from that presentation. VEX code IQ blocks can be downloaded from the VEX robotics website. Presently, installations are available for Windows, Macintosh, Chromebooks, and the Apple iPads. Once you have the program installed, you can either double-click on the desktop shortcut or go to your program's location. Let's get started. With any program for robots, it's important to set up the robot configuration so the program matches the inputs and the outputs on the robot brain. So click on the Add Devices button. Click on the Add a Device button. Now click on the Drive Train button. You plug the left drive motor into Smart Port 1 on the brain during Step 19 of the build. So click on the 1 button under the left motor selector port. The right drive motor is plugged into Port 6, so click on the 6 button. The robot has no gyro, so click the gyro checkbox to unselect it. The wheel size on our robot is 200 millimeters, the track width is 173 millimeters, and the gear ratio is 1 to 1. So we can leave all the numbers as the default and click the done button. There are no other devices on our robot, so click the minimize arrow. You may notice after we added a drivetrain device, there is a whole new set of blocks under drivetrain in the block menu window. Now click and drag the drive forward for one inch block over so its notch fits into the nub on the when started block in the project window. Next, click on the selector triangle beside the word inches. Then click on the MM to change the units to millimeters. Now click on the oval with the number 1 in it and change the number to 200. You've just written your first program. Remember, the wheel size is 200 millimeters. This means the program should move our robot one wheel rotation forward. Now you've created your program, we need to download it to the robot. If you are creating your program on an iPad, click on the Tutorials button and watch the wireless download video. Otherwise, continue with the next steps. Be sure to plug your VEX IQ USB cable into your computer and into the VEX IQ brain. Then turn on the brain by holding the check mark button. Notice the brain icon is now highlighted. Next, click the download icon. The save as window will pop up. Type in a name which makes sense, like move forward. Then click save. Unplug the USB cord and set your robot on the floor. You can now test out your program by pressing the check mark button. Next comes the fun part. You can play around and experiment. You can drag over another drive forward for one inch and use the select arrow to change the command to read reverse. Then you can change the number to 200 and the units to millimeters. This will make your robot move back to its starting point. You can drag over a turn right for 90 degrees, and this will make your robot turn right for 90 degrees. You can change the number 90 to another number and 
have your robot turn to a different amount. You can drag over another turn right for 90 degrees onto the project window and then change the turn command to read left by using the selector triangle. In fact, now you know how to make your robot go forward, go backwards, turn right, and turn left. You can make your robot go wherever you want. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many videos of competitions and instructions there. Until next time, remember, in order to move forward, it is good to have a program.